cause of death. What is the mean age at your presentation? It's usually 64 years. Well, if there is family history or hereditary cancer present, so the age at diagnosis is 54, is earlier than mean age at your presentation when there is no hereditary positive for cancer. More than 60% of women diagnosed with stage three or four, and the lifetime risk of ovarian cancer in general population is 1.4%. While if there is one family member affected, the risk will be increased 5%, and further increases to 40 to 50% if there is two first degree relatives are affected. This means the risk for ovarian cancer will be increased when there is a family history of hereditary cancer. يعني خطر الإصابة بسرطان المبيض مدى الحياة راح يكون أعلى كل ما يكون أن هنا family history affected with cancer. This slide talking about the following important points. Carcinoma of the ovary is most common. Major cause of death. Mean age at presentation 64, while if there is hereditary positive for cancer is 54. 60% of patients will be diagnosed at the stage three or four. And the risk for cancer will be increased when increases chance of hereditary cancer. Etiology. The molecular events leading to malignancy remain poorly understood. The molecular events for malignancy remain poorly understood. But there is number of gene mutations will be suppression of a tumor suppressor genes and overexpression of oncogenes. The theory for the risk or etiology of the ovarian cancer is molecular events, but this is poorly understood. Number of genes a mutation will be show suppression of a tumor suppressor genes while an increase or overexpression of oncogenes. And there is recognized association with a mutation in a BRCA1 and a BRCA2 genes in hereditary epithelial ovarian cancer. The process of malignant change will be associated with reproduction and ovulation. And there are two main theories, ovulation theory and excess gonadotrophin secretion. Ovulation theory, this is mean continuous ovulation, causing repeated trauma to the ovarian epithelium. So lead to genetic mutation and development of cancer. While excess gonadotrophin, high level of estrogen, in turn lead to epithelial proliferation and malignant transformation of the epithelium of the ovarian epithelium. The first slide talking about the introduction of ovarian cancer. We asking if these statements are true or false. Ovarian cancer is a rare gynecological cancer. Is it true or false? False. What is the true is most common? The lifetime risk of ovarian cancer is 1.4% in general population. Well, will be decreased when there is hereditary factor. This risk false. will be decreased. False, could make one add hereditary factors for cancer will be increased the risk for ovarian cancer. Mean age at the presentation is 64, and mostly, most common cases, more than 60% will be presenting with stage three and four. This is mean advanced stage of ovarian cancer. This is a true or false? True. True. Mean age at the presentation is 64. And the presentation more than, more than 
will be present with advanced stage. This is, is mean stage three and four. Yes. The process of malignancy of ovarian cancer will be associated with reproduction and ovulation. True or false? True. 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 Associated with reproduction and ovulation. Two theories for malignancy, ovulation theory and excess gonadotrophy secretion. The molecular events leading to malignancy remain poorly understood. There is suppression of, suppression of tumor suppressor genes. But with overexpression, Shinoli Sir Ednaziyadi will own co-genes. <coughs> molecular events. Also, there is recognized association between the gene mutation in BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes in hereditary ovarian epithelial cancer. What are the increasing risk factors for ovarian cancer? when the age of the female is 50 years or older. And there is familial factor. Familial history or hereditary factor for cancer, the risk will be increased. There is family history of a breast, ovarian colon, personal history, and familial cancer syndrome, BRCA, gene mutation, or hereditary non polyposis colon cancer. Other potential risk factor, early menarche. Yeah, كل ما تجيه الدورة الشهرية وعمرها صغير تكون more risky for ovarian cancer. And late menopause. كل ما تتأخر إلى أن توصل إلى سن اليأس أيضا تكون هنا أكثر عرضة المن للأوفريان كانسر. هذا عززنا the first theory اللي هي Repeated trauma to ovarian epithelium and menstruation. Risk for ovarian cancer. Hormone replacement therapy. First pregnancy at older age than 30 years of age. Infertility and endometriosis. We are repeated the increasing risk of ovarian cancer. Age of female, 50 years and above. Family history or personal history of cancer, like breast, coral. Younger, early menarche, younger than 12 years, late menopause, first pregnancy at older age, infertility, endometriosis, HRT, hormone replacement therapy. Decreased risk of ovarian cancer. Taking birth control pulse more than five years, breastfeeding, pregnancy, hysterectomy or tubal ligation, and the prophylactic of a rectum in a case of a BRCA mutation. Decreased factor of ovarian cancer, taking birth control more than five years, breastfeeding, pregnancy, hysterectomy or tubal ligation, and the prophylactic of a rectum in case of a BRCA mutation. We are talking about Ovarian cancer, a simple information is a common cancer, leading cause of death for gynecological cancer. The mean age at a presentation is 64, more than 60% presenting with advanced stage three and four. The risk for ovarian cancer will be increased when there is a positive history, family history or personal history for cancer. The mean etiology is molecular events, but still poorly understood. And their risk of ovarian cancer, there is association with reproduction and ovulation. And there is recognized association with BRCA1, BRCA2 mutation. Increased risk factor of ovarian cancer, in age of female, family history, and if there is recurrent or repeated trauma to the ovary, ovarian epithelium, like early menarche, late menopause, HRT, 
while decreased risk for ovarian cancer when taking birth control pills more than five years, lactating, pregnant, hysterectomy or tubal ligation, prophylactic of rectum in case of a BRCA mutation. Classification of ovarian cancer. This is histological classification of ovarian cancer. There are four types of ovarian cancer, epithelial, germ cell, sex core, metastatic. Epithelial, germ cell, sex core, metastatic. Epithelial include serous, mucinous, endometroid, clear cell, and undifferentiated. While germ cell, this germinoma, endodermal sinus tumor, the other name is yolk sac, teratoma, choriocarcinoma, and mixed. Six cord tumors include three types, granulosa cell tumor, and this is related to hormone production, estrogen, sertolylytic cell tumor, related to testosterone, and gynoandroblastoma. While metastatic is including Crookenberg tumor originate from the stomach, is secondary to the tumor of the stomach. We are repeat. What are the histological classification of ovarian cancer? Is epithelial, germ cell, sex cord, and metastatic. What are the subtypes of epithelial ovarian cancer? Types of epithelial ovarian cancer. According to histological picture, is named as the following. Serous, mucinous, endometroid, clear cell, and undifferentiated. Germ cell is this germinome, endodermal sinus tumor, teratoma, choriocarcinoma, and mixed. While sex cord, granulosa cell tumor, sertolylytic cell tumor, gyne and roblastoma. And the last one is metastatic, broken beard tumor originated from the stomach, is a secondary tumor. Staging of the ovarian cancer. We use the FIGO staging system. Use the FIGO, F-I-G-O, staging system. This is based on a clinical pathological assessment. Staging of ovarian cancer, which system will be used is FIGO, F-I-G-O. Depend on clinical pathological assessment. Overall, 24, 25% stage one, 10% stage two, 50% stage three, 15% stage four. Then a percentage in Shufa Yaman, we are stage three, 50%. But at stage one, 25, stage two, stage four, 15, and stage two, 10. 25% stage one, 10% stage two, 50% stage three, 15% stage four. Metastatic spread either by direct spread to peritoneum and other organs or lymphatic spread to pelvic and para aortic nodes. High percentage of women with advanced disease, as we say, more than 60% will be presenting with stage three and four, have evidence of peritoneal disease on the diaphragmatic peritoneum. What are the following? Answer on the following statement with a true or false. Ovarian cancer is a most common gynecological cancer and is a leading cause of death. True or false? True. 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 Yes. True. Very good. More than 60% of patient presenting with stage three and four. True. 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 This is mean advanced disease or advanced stage, like this statement. 
histological classification of ovarian cancer into two types only, true or false? False. 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 Histological classification of ovarian cancer into four types. These are epithelial and germ. 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 tumor. And the tumor. And the last one? Metastasis. Krokenberg tumor is a metastatic to the ovary, but the primary site at the stomach. True. 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 Yes, Lactating is a decreasing factor for ovarian cancer, while early menarche is increasing factor for ovarian cancer. True. 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 Yes. There is a weak association, a weak association between the BRCA1 and the BRCA2 gene mutation and ovarian cancer. False. 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 BRCA1 and BRCA2 diamond minister had a gene mutation gene. Show for the issue of breast cancer. We are going to look at one of the risk factors. If it is female, it is breast cancer. Our family history of a breast cancer and colon. Metastatic spread is by direct spread or by lymphatic spread to bara aortic nodes and pelvic lymph nodes. True or false? True. 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 Am I direct spread to peritoneum or lymphatic spread to pelvic and bara aortic nodes? Very good. Tumor markers used in ovarian cancer. Tumor markers used in ovarian cancer. CA, carcinogenic antigen 125. This is for epithelial ovarian cancer cells, borderline ovarian tumors. And this will be used as preoperative and as follow-up. C899 for epithelial ovarian cancer, but the type is mucinous and borderline ovarian tumors. Inhibin for granulosa cell tumor. Beta HCG for dysgerminoma, choriocarcinoma, and alpha fetoprotein for endodermal sign, yolk sac tumor, and teratoma. Tumor markers will be used in ovarian cancer. CA-125 and CA-199 will be used as a tumor marker for borderline ovarian tumors as a preoperative and as follow-up. This is a true or false? True. CA-125, CA-199, will be used as a tumor marker for borderline ovarian tumors as preoperative and follow-up. This is true. True. Inhibin for granulosa cell tumor. What are the tumor markers will be used in choriocarcinoma, beta HCG? What is the tumor marker will be used in ovarian cancer Teratoma is alpha fetoprotein. We are repeating. Tumor markers will be used in ovarian cancer, CA125 and CA199. Inhibin, beta HCG, and the last one is tumor marker. Tumor markers. Tumor markers used in ovarian cancer. CA-125, CA-199, inhibit beta HCG and alpha fetoprotein. Alpha fetoprotein. Inhibit is a tumor marker used for screening borderline ovarian tumors. True or false? False. 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 For granulosa cell tumors. For granulosa cell tumors. 
Well, beta HCG for this germinoma and chorium carcinoma. We are talking about histological classification of ovarian cancer, as we say, epithelial ovarian cancer, which include serous, mucinous, clear cell, and differentiated. We talk about epithelial ovarian cancer is the leading cause of death. Most common ovarian cancer is epithelial. احنا ممكن نعرف أقسام للهيستولوجيكال كلاسيفيكيشن. Epithelial, القسم الأول. Germ cell, six cord, metastatic. Epithelial, 80% in method. While germ cell, 10%, six cord, 10%. Metastatic is a secondary from originated from the stomach, while the primary ovarian cancer like this, epithelial germ cell six core. This is include 80%. It is the most common ovarian cancer. The histological picture is epithelial. And the type serous, mucinous, endometroid, clear cell, and undifferentiated. While germ cell tumor count 10%. Include this germinoma, endodermal cell tumor, teratoma, choriocarcinoma, and mixed. And the third type is six cord tumors, which is hormone, depend on hormone production. Account 10% include granulosa cell, sertoli, lytic cell, and gyne endoroblastoma. Epithelial ovarian cancer is the most common ovarian cancer. Account 80%. Include serous, mucinous, endometroid, clear cell, and undifferentiated. Is the leading cause of death from gynecological cancer. It is derived from silomic epithelium of the ovary, fallopian tube, and peritoneum. It is a heterogeneous group of neoplasm, differ in histological and molecular feature and clinical behavior will be ranged from low malignant potential to a frankly invasive malignant neoplasm. It might be low potential power, or a little bit of a weak malignancy, or a little bit of invasive malignant neoplasm. Most women diagnosed with epithelial ovarian cancer have symptoms. However, these symptoms are non-specific and often vague. The difficulty in a clinical diagnosis is the main reason for patients with ovarian carcinoma present with late stage disease. This has a dramatic effect on survival. Epithelial ovarian cancer account 80% of ovarian cancer and is a leading cause of death. Is it true or false? True. 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 Most common ovarian cancer is epithelial. It derived from epithelium of the ovary, fallopian tube, and peritoneum. لذلك سميت epithelial ovarian cancer لأنه derived from epithelium of ovary, fallopian tube, peritoneum. The feature will be differ from lower malignant potential to frankly invasive malignant neoplasm. A true or false? Feature differ from low malignant. True. Or invasive malignant. True or false? True. True. هم نشنو هذه الجملة صحيح true. يقول لأنه هو heterogeneous مختلف ما متجانس. في يختلف هنا بالنيوبلازم بالهيستولوجي بالmolecular feature بالclinical behavior من الشدة مالته الخفيفة low malignant المن إلى invasive malignant. Most women diagnosed have symptom, لكن هذه السبتوم شي تكون non-specific and vague. لذلك شي راح يصير difficulty بالdiagnosis. لهذا شي راح يصير عندنا المريض اللي جينا late stage disease. احنا فهمنا بالجملة اللي بالبداية بالسلايد الأول كنا more than 60% presenting with advanced stage 3 or 4. يعني بالنهاية إلا نكتشف وقلنا 50% راح يجونا with stage 3 15% with stage 4 
ليش هالصعوبة إنه يجينا ليت ستيج؟ لأنه عندهم هم سبتم لكن السبتم شو تكون نام سبيسيفيك أند فيج. ديفيكولتي وذ كلينيكال دياجنوستس هي السبب اللي خلت لنا البرزنتيشن أوف أوفريان كانسر وذ ليت ستيج ديزيز أند دراماتيك إفكت أون سرفايفل أند إت إز كونسيدر أز أ ليدنج كوز فور ديث فروم جاينيكولوجيكال كانسر. أوكي؟ We're talking about the subtypes of epithelial ovarian cancer. Serous tumor is most common type of epithelial ovarian cancer. Half of epithelial ovarian cancer is serous. Most serous carcinoma have both solid and cystic elements. Solid and cystic, but some may be mainly cystic. الأغلبية تكون سيستك. affect both ovaries. We are repeat. Serous tumor is the most common epithelial ovarian cancer. Is of serous type. Half. Most serous, solid and cystic, but mainly cystic. Affect. غالبا ما affect both ovaries. Some nobodies. are pathognomic of ovarian type serous carcinoma, mostly present in advanced disease. We talk about endometrioid tumor. There are ovarian tumors that resemble endometrial carcinoma, is associated with endometriosis, endometrial cancer. من اسمها endometrioid, إذن هي إلها علاقة ويا endometriosis, endometrial tissue, and endometrial cancer. Most are cystic, some may be mainly cystic, often unilocular, and contain turbid brown fluid. Contain turbid brown fluid. Neusinus account 15%, while serous half. Majority benign, neusinus majority benign. Multilocular, thin walled cyst. with some smooth external surface containing a mucinous fluid. It grow quite large, reaching 30 cm, weight 40 kg, malignant mucinous bilateral in 10 to 20% while benign is unilateral. We are repeat. The types of epithelial ovarian cancer We are talking in detail about epithelial ovarian cancer because the epithelial ovarian cancer is account about 80% of ovarian cancer. Account about 80% of ovarian cancer and is a leading cause of death. The types are serous tumor. Percentage half, 15%. Serous carcinoma may be solid or cystic. Often affect both ovaries. Samomobides is a pathognomic feature for serous tumor. Some may be mainly cystic. Endometroid, minisim, is associated with endometriosis, endometrial cancer. Most cystic, unilocular, contain turbid brown fluid. While mucinous is cystic and is contain a mucinous fluid, account 15%, majority benign. When is benign is unilateral, while if malignant, bilateral in 10 to 20%. Usually multilocular, multilocular, while endometroid unilocular is a cystic. with a smooth external surface containing a mucinous fluid. It grow a quite large, reaching 30 cm and weight 40 kg. Endometroid, a tumor, contain, mostly are cystic, contain turbid or brown fluid, while a serous tumor is contain a mucinous fluid. Is it true or false? Endometroid, most are cystic, contain turbid brown fluid. 
وايد سبس تيومر كونتين اميوسينس فلويد فولس فولس صحيح فولس ليش ما تجاوبون البقيه؟ صحيح فولس جواب لانه انا جاي اقول اقول سر تيومر كونتين ميوسنس فلويد لا ما يحتوي ميوسنس فلويد يحتوي سر فلويد لكن هنا ميوسنس تيومر اللي اللي بداخله شنو موجود ميوسنس فلويد الاندومترويد اللي بداخله تيربيد براون فلويد سر تيومر از اسوشيتد وذ اندومتريوسيس سر تيومر از اسوشيتد وذ اندومتريوسيس <تصفيق> احنا قلنا من الاسم اندومترويد من الاسم اندومترويد يعني اندومتريوسيس يعني اندومتريال كانسر ميوسينوس از اكاونت هالف اوف ابيثيليال اوفيريان كانسر لكن هنا الميوسينوس 15% بيرسنت. ميجوريتي ميوسينوس تيومر از ابيناين and is unilateral when it is benign. True. 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 Majority here is benign, and we said that it will be unilateral. Now, we have the second type, the histological type of ovarian cancer. The histological type of ovarian cancer. The germ-cell tumor. The germ-cell tumor. Commonly occur in young women, account 10% derived from primordial germ cell within the ovary. Like the epithelial gene derived from the epithelium of the ovary, fallopian tube, and peritoneum. Epithelial ovarian cancer derived from solomon epithelium of the ovary, fallopian tube, and peritoneum. Like the germ cell tumor will be derived from primordial germ cell within the ovary. Most common symptom, pelvic mass. 10% actually with torsion or hemorrhage. And due to age incidence, some are presented during the pregnancy. And we know when it will happen with young women. So we can see when the patient is pregnant. Okay? Germ cell tumor, common when in young women. And maybe the age incidence is present with the pregnancy. It's 10% of ovarian cancer. The main symptom or presentation is pelvic mass. 70% of germ cell tumor are stage one. Like no ligna bil epithelial ovary cancer akthar shish rah ligi bil advanced stage and spread by lymphatic or blood borne. This germinoma is the most common type of germ cell tumor, 15%. مثل ما عنا بال epithelial ovary cancer, the 15% can serous. لكن هنا this germinoma هو اللي يكون 50% germ cell tumor. And in epithelial ovary cancer, the 50% is the serous. Bilateral in 20% of cases and occasionally secrete beta HCG, which is considered as screening tumor or tumor markers for the type of the ovarian cancer. The third type is six cord stromal tumor. Six cord, and this is account 10% and depend on hormone production and include three types. The types are the following, granulosa cell tumor, sertolylytic cell tumor, and gynandroplastoma or mixed. This tumor account 10%. Generally, the tumor of low malignant potential with a good long-term prognosis. Like the magin, we have the epithelial ovary and cancer gin vary from low malignant potential to frankly invasive malignant neoplasma. صحيح. The epithelial gin vary by clinical feature. مالت. أما يكون low potential أو راح يكون invasive neoplasm. لكن ال 6 كورد ستروما يكون هنا لو بوتنشال اند جود بروجنوسيس لو مالجنيت بوتنشال اند جود لونج تيرم او بروجنوسيس لذلك لما نقول هنا الليدنج كوز اوف ذا ديث ان كاينيكولوجيكال اوفريان كانسر از ابيثيليال 
لانه قلنا ديفر بالكلينيكال فيتشر فروم لو مالجنت بوتنشال تو انفيزيف نيوبلازم وال سكس كورد سيتروما تيومرز از لو بوتنشال مالجنسي اند جود بروجنوسيس لونج تير سيجنيفيكانت percentage of this tumor are present with manifestation of their hormone production. مثل ما قلنا يعتمد وين على الهرمون production. فلذلك ايش راح يصير عندنا؟ قلنا الهرمون production estrogen or testosterone. النتيجة السبتوم اللي تجينا هي irregular bleeding, postmenopausal bleeding or precocious puberty. And some morbidity will be arise from increasing estrogen, granulosa or thicca cell or sertoris cell. أو اندروجين سيرتوري اللي ديكسيل أو ستيرويد سيل causing a precocious puberty abnormal menstrual bleeding and increased risk of uterine cancer. Peak incidence around the menopause. Peak incidence around the menopause. While germ cell tumor is common at young women and may be presenting at pregnancy. Sex for citroma. لا. Peak incidence around menopause with exception. لكنه عندنا هنا اكسبشن مخليين اللي هو جوفينايل جرانولوزا سيل تشومر. كومنلي بريزنتنج ان جيرلز اندر 10 ييرز اوف ايج اند كوز ا بريكوشيوس بيوبرتي. وي ار ريبيت ذا تايبس اوف ذا ابيثيليال ذا تايبس اوف ذا اوفرين كانسر ابيثيليال اوفرين كانسر اكاونت 80% بيرسنت فاري فروم لو مالكنت بوتنشال تو انفيزيف نيوبلازم The more percentage will be present at advanced stage. The symptoms are vague, so that the clinical diagnosis is uh, uh, difficult, and the end stage will be ending with uh, a death. Germ cell tumor. This tumor is account for 10 percent, more common at young women, and may be presenting with ovary. Uh, at uh, pregnancy, and the presentation may be the pelvic mass. And the most common type is the, this germinoma, 80%, 50%. Six cord syndromal tumors also account 10%, may be present at around menopause, with exception is juvenile. Juvenile at age of female less than 10 years will be cause of precautions of puberty. The symptoms are related to hormone production, may be Precautions of puberty, abnormal menstrual bleeding, and increased incidence of uterine cancer, postmenopausal bleeding, precautions of puberty. The hormones will be increased estrogen, like a granulosa cell tumor, testosterone, or androgen, the sertoli elytic cell tumor. Granulosa cell tumor, as we say, the estrogen release hormone, most common hormone, sex cord citromal cell, then has the most common. Epithelial ovary cancer, the most common in the end of the The most common bill germ cell tumor is this germinoma. The most common six cord citroma cell tumor is granulosa cell tumor. Okay? Granulosa cell tumor, most common for six cord. This germinoma, most common for germ cell tumor. Serous tumor is the most common tumor for the ovarian epithelial cancer. Granulose cell tumor accounts 70%, 70% may present as a large pelvic mass or pain. Sertoli lytic cell tumor increases in androgen over 50% of cases. Patient present with pelvic mass and sign of realization, common symptom amenorrhea, deep voice, hirsutism. Most sex cord tumor will be present as unilateral ovarian mass, up to 15% in diameter. Sign and symptom of the ovarian cancer. Previously, will be called a silent killer. Silent killer without appreciable signs or symptoms until advanced stage is obvious clinical. Commonly presenting with increasing abdominal size, bloating, abdominal or pelvic pain, urinary urgency, frequency, fatigue, upset stomach, indigestion, and inability to eat normally. 
constipation, back pain, pain during sex, abnormal vaginal bleeding, weight loss, obstruction, urological symptom like urgency and frequency. Then a sign of symptom of the ovarian cancer, سابقاً كانوا يعتبرون سايلنت كله لأنه ما تكون عندنا واضحة الساين والسبتوم إلى أن يصير أدفانس ستيج لكن بصورة عامة السبتوم ريليتي تو يورينار تراكت أرجنسي فريكونسي تو ركتر أو جي أي تي لايك كونستبيشن سيكشوال لايك بين دورينج سيكس منسترول تشينجز will be rarely occur, nausea and vomiting or intestinal obstruction. But there is commonly presenting with increasing abdominal size. Commonly presenting with increased abdominal size. Loating, abdominal pain, mass. Physical examination. A pelvic abdominal mass is palpable in most patients. Malignant tumor will be, tend to be a pair, solid, nodular, fixed. Malignant will be solid, nodular, fixed. But no pathognomic sign will be distinguished between the growth. The vaginal examination important. Presence of a fluid or a flank, bulging suggests a presence of ascites. In advanced stage, there is upper central abdominal mass. Escultation for chest, to exclude malignant pleural effusion, palpation of lymph node, supraclavicular and inguinal, breast and rectum examination to assess the tumor originate from these organs. Examination, there is a mass at abdomen, so examination of the abdomen and examination of pelvic, examination of breast and rectum, Examination of abdomen, not only for the mass and the uh, feature of this mass, also there is presence of ascites, fluid or a flank bulging, so just the presence of ascites in advanced stage. Escultation for gist, for secrete malignant pleural effusion, and must be palpation of lymph node, metastatic of a tumor, supraclavicular and inguinal. Investigation. Complete blood picture, thrombocytosis, lipicrolite, hyponatremia, serum, CA125, is a glycoprotein. And normally, the value is less than 35. But half of stage one will be normal value is false negative. Mungkin it a normal value, like it false negative, the patient with the stage one. Or false positive, like in here, it is a pelvic inflammatory disease not ovarian cancer, positive. And in case of endometriosis, CA125 is positive. Also in fibroid and pregnancy or menstruation. Serum CA199, alpha fetoprotein, LDH, HCG, inhibiting estrogen and testosterone, and the last one is imaging. So investigation is complete blood picture, electrolyte, hyponatremia serum, tumor marker like CA125, CA99, alpha fetoprotein, LDH, HCG inhibiting estrogen and testosterone. And the last one is imaging. Imaging, we're talking about in detail about the imaging and the importance of imaging for diagnosis of ovarian cancer. Transvaginal ultrasound, transvaginal ultrasound will be discovered the malignant, multinucleated, solid or echogenic, large than 5 cm, thick septa, area of nodularity, papillary projection, neovascularity can be discovered by Doppler flow and ascites will be detected. Okay, transvaginal ultrasound is important for detection of this tumor. Is malignant, multinucleated or unilocular, Solid, echogenic, size, if there is a presence of septa and this thick septa or not, area of nodularity, if there is papillary projection or a new vascularity. Chest x ray to exclude pleural effusion and lung metastasis. CT scan, don't take small ovarian tumor, but see larger tumor and may be able to see if a tumor is growing into nearby structure. 
and lymph node. MRI, PET, bone scan of little benefit. Barium enema X-ray to see if the cancer is invaded, colon or rectum. And rarely colonoscopy instead can be used so that the imaging, transvaginal ultrasound, chest X-ray, CT scan, MRI bit bone scan is of little benefit, but may be used. Barium enema X-ray investigation for ovarian cancer. As we say, the symptom is different. Symptom and sign is different. Pelvic mass, abdominal pain, and if there is ascites in presence of a fluid, palpation of the uh, lymph node, a chest, if there is malignant pleural effusion, then an investigation, a complete blood picture, elliptolite, tumor marker, and imaging. Imaging like transvaginal ultrasound, chest X-ray, CT scan, barium enema X-ray, and now colonoscopy, and there is MRI bit bone scan of little benefit. Staging of the ovarian cancer, as we say, will be based on a clinical pathological assessment. Clinical pathological assessment for staging of the tumors. And this is the FIGO staging. First degree is a growth limited to ovaries. This is A, B, C. Limited to one ovary. No external tumor, capsule intact, no ascites. While B is limited to both ovaries. Also, no external tumor, capsule intact, no ascites. C, either A or B, but the tumor on the surface of the ovary or with capsule rupture or with ascites positive for tumor cells. FIGO staging system. The system important for a staging of ovarian cancer. This system will be depend on a clinical pathological assessment. The first point is if the growth limited to ovaries, this is called a stage one. Growth limited to ovaries. One A, B, C. A limited to one ovary. B limited to both ovaries. Both of these two points, there is no any tumor, external tumor, and no ascites, and the capsule is intact. A, one ovary, no external tumor, no ascites, capsule intact. B, for both ovaries, no external tumor, no ascites, and capsule intact. While the C, either A or B, but with rupture of capsule, and with ascites positive for a tumor cell or a tumor on surface of ovary. Second stage, growth limited to pelvis. A growth limited to pelvis. Extension and or metastasis to uterus or tubes. B, extension to other or pelvic organs. C, either A or B but a tumor on surface of ovary or with capsule rupture or with ascites positive for the tumor cell. We are repeat. FIGO staging is a staging for ovarian cancer. This will be depend on a clinical histological assessment. Stage one, growth limited to ovaries. Stage two, growth limited to pelvis. Stage one, a, B, C, A limited to one ovary, and all of the other will be contact of capsule, no ascites, no to external tumor. While staging one B limited to both ovaries, also the same feature as a stage one A. C, either A or B, with rupture capsule, with ascites, with a tumor on surface of ovary. Stage two, growth limited to of pelvis. A, extension to uterus or tubes. B, extension to other pelvic organ. C, either A or B, but the tumor on, of, on surface of ovary and capsule rupture with acidic fluid. Stage three, growth limited to abdominal peritoneum 
and inguinal lymph node. Tumor grossly limited to pelvis with negative nodes, but histologically confirmed microscopic implants. B, abdominal implant less than two. C, more than two centimeter. Then in a tumor when in a mojut fakat pelvis, manu negative nodes, nala abdominal implants less than two centimeter. Abdominal implant more than two centimeter or positive retroperitoneal or inguinal lymph node. Stage four will be metastasis involving one or both ovaries with distant metastasis. Cytology on pleural effusion, positive and liver barren kind. Then stage four is metastasis. Treatment. After the diagnostic test are done, cancer care team will recommend one or both the treatment. Then the treatment MR had to surgery, or had to chemotherapy, or both. Treatment MR so فقط surgery, or فقط نحتاج chemotherapy, or نحتاج surgery and chemotherapy. Early stage disease and advanced stage disease. Early stage disease and advanced stage disease. Stage early stage disease mean stage one A, stage one B. As we say, stage one is a growth to the one ovary. Stage B is one B is a growth to both ovaries. Both of them, no ascites, no external tumor, and the capsule is contact or intact. This is early stage disease. Grade one managed by debulking surgery. What is meaning of debulking surgery? Mean bilateral salpingo of rectum, plus total abdominal hysterectomy, plus infracolic ominectomy, plus systemic pelvic lymph adenectomy, acetic fluid for cytology and removal of any visible deposit, no need for chemotherapy. Early stage of disease, stage 1A, stage 1B. Growth to one ovary, growth to both ovaries. Both cases, there is no external tumor, no ascites, and the capsule is intact. Managed by debulking surgery. Include bilateral salpingo of rectum, total abdominal hysterectomy, infracolic ominectomy, and systemic pelvic lymph adenectomy. Acetic fluid for cytology, either removal of any visible deposit, no need for chemotherapy. The option at this stage is only surgery. Advanced stage, stage 1A and 1B when there is high grade. This is a grade 1. 1A, 1B lacking high grade and stage 1C to stage 4. Managed by debulking surgery, plus chemotherapy in form of six cycles. Then we can see them debulking surgery, which is bilateral salpingo of rectum and total abdominal hysterectomy with infracolic ominectomy and systemic lymph adenectomy. But this surgery will be associated with chemotherapy, while here no chemotherapy. This is the presence of chemotherapy in form of six cycles. Carboplatin and placitaxel. Carboplatin and placitaxel. This is for six cycles. No rule for second look surgery. In case of recurrent disease, a treatment by additive chemotherapy. Debulking surgery, chemotherapy for six cycles. No rule for second look surgery. We don't need surgery مرة ثانية. لكن قد نحتاج المن إلى الكيموثيرابي إضافي. Additive chemotherapy. This is the treatment of ovarian carcinoma. After the diagnostic test are done, cancer team will be recommend either surgery, chemotherapy, or both. Early stage disease, surgery, no chemotherapy. Advanced stage, surgery and chemotherapy. And no rule for second look surgery, but maybe you need additive chemotherapy according to the condition. Surveillance. After the treatment, early stage ovarian cancer must be there is follow-up. 
every two to four months for first two years. أول سنتين بعد العلاج كل شهرين إلى أربعة أشهر متابعة. بعدها twice per year بعدها مرتين بالسنة يعني كل ست أشهر بالسنة بالسنة بعدين اللي هنا راح يصير ثلاث مرات بالسنة. بعدها يصير annual. إذا أول سنتين كل شهرين إلى أربعة أشهر. بعدها يصير كل ست أشهر مدة سنة. بعدها ثلاث مرات هنا بالسنة. Then annually by complete physical and pelvic examination, serum CA125 and imaging. Then المفروض هنا أنا دائما نتابع pelvic examination, physical examination and serum CA125 and imaging. Prognosis will be depend on the following stage of disease, histology. Prognosis will be depend on the following. Stage of disease, histology, mucinous, clear cell, poor prognosis, smaller disease, volume, prior to surgical, كل ما يكون الحجم مالت اللي تشومر صغير قبل لا نسوي surgery better, smaller residual disease following cytoreductive surgery, بعد ما نسوينا surgery, إذا كان المتبقي smaller هم يكون ال prognosis better, and age at the presentation, إذا prognosis will be depend, stage of disease, histological, feature, smaller disease before surgery, smaller after surgery, and age at presentation. Fallopian tube cancer is rare cancer, less than 1%. A primary is unilateral, mean age is 56. Many of patients are millivars and infertility. We are repeat. Fallopian tube cancer is rare, less than 1%. Unilateral, mean age 56, presenting with infertility, and the main patient, main patient are nullibar. Tumor spread is identical to that of ovarian cancer. We tested to pelvic and paraortic nodes are common. Most tumors involve fallopian tube are metastatic from ovarian cancer, but secondary spread from a breast or gastrointestinal tract. Clinical diagnosis, investigation, treatment, like epithelial ovarian cancer. We are repeat. Fallopian tube carcinoma is rare, less than 1%, usually unilateral, age at diagnosis 56, many patients infertile at nullibar, tumor spread like ovarian cancer, diagnosis, investigation, treatment, the same as epithelial ovarian cancer. May be metastatic from ovarian cancer and secondary spread from breast and gastrointestinal tract. This lecture, we're talking about the primary ovarian, talking about ovarian cancer. And there are four types epithelial, germ cell, six core, and metastatic. And talking about the fallopian tube cancer. شكرا جزيلا موفقين ان شاء الله